Hello, my fellow peeps, and welcome to a Halloween special of Ask Mason for last season 5. Yeah, even though that Halloween isn't until October 31st, but... Yeah, but we're doing this Halloween special anyways, yeah, since uh, yeah, November 1st is next Friday. Alright, my fellow peeps, without further ado to ask shit, let's get all those fucking questions answered. Okay. Starting off with uh, Zero the Jackal 2005. Alright, and he said this. Number one, what are thoughts uh, Let's Fight in Love from South Park? Uh, one of the best, funniest songs I've ever heard. Ever since I started watching the uh, the eighth season of that show. Yeah, where, uh, where Eric Cartman, Kyle, Stan, and Kenny... Um, just got those real ninja ninja weapons. Alright, number two. Do you hate works that have Lollicon or Shotokan stuff in it? Yes, I fucking do, man. Okay, sorry to hear that, if that bothers you, um, Neloy Khan. Alright, Spider-Man Edits 2011 asked, What's your opinion on LEGO Marvel Super Heroes from 2013? It's just as good as the the original Marvel superheroes. Yeah, both the franchises and that fighting game from Capcom. All right, Lord Forever 2K or Lord Movies and Music. Number one, what's your opinion on FTF 110 and Leo War? Oh, please don't remind me about that. I'm just gonna say that I, I just cannot stand that stand any wars on anyone because. It's giving me fucking headaches and giving us lots of anxiety attacks, so... I hope this will end or decrease it to at least a minimum. Because this is just too much. Number two, what do you think of Pencil Neck ruined my uh, my movie review? Oh yeah, your movie review? Um, yeah, Pencil Neck will get... Um, will be surrounded by a bunch of guards and get kicked out of your studio. Number three, what's your opinion on The Crow? Ah, oh, shit. I haven't watched it, man. Number four, what if Pencil Neck was in Pantheon? Uh, for me, I bet Pencil Neck gets lynched by Madison Kim and Caspian Keys for breaking the fourth wall and forcing audiences to face his teeth. Yeah, same answer as, uh, as number two. Okay, uh... Number five, what do you think about the reboot of Wonder Pets you saw? I never saw the reboot of Wonder Pets, man. I only heard of the, the original. Number six, what if Pencil Neck was in Bossy Bear? Eh, uh, okay. His answer is he'll obviously ruin the agendas whether he caused another trouble for the past eight years, including sending grounded threats and other shit. Yeah, Pencil Neck is going to cause a lot of bullshit. Obviously. Number seven. Uh, what happens uh, about Dave Johnson talking talking with me about missing the bossy bear? Okay. Um, yeah, Dave Johnson sure is pissed off about this. Number eight. What if Pencil Neck was in Smiles 1 and 2? Uh, yeah, he'll get... Yeah, he'll be the first victim uh, to get fucked. Yeah, I mean, beaten to a bloody pulp is what I'm saying. Okay, Artada. Okay, so we got, um, like seven, qu like ten questions in, in three separate comments, and, yeah, and the, yeah, and last three from MeWe. Okay, number one, if you had one preschool show that uh, you would stay in, what would it be? <clears throat> For me... Make way for Naughty, uh, Wow Wow Wubsy, Oswald, Thomas and Friends, Blues Clues, and maybe Little Einsteins. Yeah, someone to choose from. So uh, I, I'd be, I'd be better off with Rugrats and um, let's see here. Oh yeah, and Caillou. Number two, if you were in on Little Einsteins, what would your instrument voice sound like? All right, his answer probably between a trumpet, a violin, or maybe a piano. Well, if they're gonna make me uh, choose... If they're gonna let me choose an electric guitar, uh, 
Uh, yeah, I would choose it. Number three, what if Pencil Neck's voice sounded like a trumpet? All right, his answer, I would burst out laughing at him to, if that ever happens. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, obviously. Number four, do you own any Spyro games? For me, yeah, uh, okay, his answer, yes. I used to play it all the time on my original PlayStation, and I have to reignite a trilogy for my current PlayStation and my Switch. Yeah, but all, all I have is the very first Spyro game on PlayStation. Yeah, the greatest hits disc only, which is only black and white, unfortunately. Well, I do have Spyro 3, but I only have the, uh, the spine and a manual uh, of it. Number 5. Do you own any Naruto games? His answer? Yes, a couple of them from my PlayStation to my Switch, and some of them from my old consoles. Well, uh, my brother and I used to have um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja, or whatever it is, on, yeah, on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, a long time ago. Number six, do you own any Metroid games? All right, his answer? Yes, I played Metroid Prime on my, on my GameCube and have the remastered on my Switch, as well as Metroid Dread, a Metroid game for my Wii, and I played a couple of them on a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Okay, so that I consider that as number seven. All right, have you have there been any new game releases on your birthday? Okay, according to Artada's answer, yeah, a couple of them, like that new Ninja Turtles game that just came out. Well, I just did not know until you told me that, dude. Okay, now here's the last three uh, via Miwi. Okay, and here's my Halloween comments for your Ask episode. Number seven, or rather number eight, what if Caillou turned into a werewolf and attacked Pencil Neck? Alright, his answer, Pencil Neck would receive huge karma for grounding Caillou all the time. Uh, yeah, same answer, but also um, making up all the damages that he obviously caused. Number nine, what if Pencil Neck got so scared that he would wet and shit himself? Yeah, I would burst out laughing, too. Number nine, what if Pencil Neck was in the movie Saw? Yeah, he'll, um, yeah, he and his henchmen will, um, will be disqualified. And how disqualification works? Well, he, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, Pencil Neck and his henchmen uh, ended up in the Saw room, but instantly gets disqualified and gets uh, fucking mauled to death by Saw himself. All right, New Yorkers say, and even though Christmas is two months away, do you have any plans for Christmas vacation? <clears throat> I'm thinking about spending. Uh, I I'm not sure. Either I would spend my Christmas time at, uh, at Mexico with my family, or wait until the new year. Until the new year's um, uh, shit. I'm not sure. Okay, and TG dish. Uh, said uh, said this on New York Precise Comic. My birthday's on two months away as well. Well, I'm glad you said that, dude. All right. Um, the original Kelly Lynn Anderson asked, "Do you have any plans for Halloween?" Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, but I did made a uh, made a Halloween sketch. Wait, it's seven Halloween sketches that are shown. And I just made my last one for next week. So you just wait till Monday. Alright, Bell Hill Mayor said this. Uh, number one, if you made a Coca-Cola flavor, what would it be? Uh, I'm not sure what to think of it, but I hope... I sure hope it's gonna be less repulsive than that Oreo bullshit. Okay, right now, I, I have none. Number two, worst popsicle you've ever tasted in your life? For me, it was super sour lemon. It was too much for me to handle. Man, I feel your pain, dude. Uh, but as my answer, uh, I haven't um, tried any of the popsicles that that's just too that's just too horrible to enjoy. Number three, what is what's the worst flash game you've ever played? His, his answer is Bowling Master because the camera angle is wrong, wrong, awful controls, and terrible terrible physics. Uh, 
Yeah, it's been a long time since I've last played the Flash games that... Uh, that didn't last long. They didn't last up to a good amount of time and shit. Well, I got no answer either, dude. Okay, Mizuki Catwalk asked, Number one, what's... Numbers one, two, three, four, and five... Uh, what are your favorite Nana, Bleach, Jojo, Monster High characters in Princess Tiana? Okay, number one, I have none, to be honest. And number two, uh, Renjiku Matsumoto. And number three, uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventures villain, uh, Dio Brando. Uh, my favorite Monster High character is Frankie Stein. Even though I'm not into that franchise. And, uh, Princess Tiana? Hmm. Uh, one of the memorable princesses in the Disney series. Okay, Nickelodeon Day of Adrian uh, said this. Sorry for, for a late comment. So here's a question. I don't think there's anything late about, so... You, know, you actually made it right on time last week. Uh, num okay, uh, what's your opinion on Kigo? Huh. Well, I may not be into uh, whatever music you're listening to, like uh, electronic dance music, but he sure is one of the most famous Norwegian DJs in Europe. Okay, TG Dish. He asked me this. Yo, Mason, remember me on my main channel called Original? Yeah, I do. Okay, Shiver My Timber said this. How do you got banned? TG Dish replied, They banned me for violating the community guidelines when I didn't violate them. Shiver My Timbers replied, Well, damn, that sucks, buddy. Yeah, I'm very sorry that you got falsely terminated on your YouTube channel. In my Plotagon world, I blame Pencil Neck for this. Well, my Plotagon self blame, uh, uh, blames Pencil Neck for that. Okay, Paper Wario 99 uh, said this. Or ask me this. Uh, if Billy the Puppet is in Fortnite, will you still own the skin for Fortnite Mares on Halloween? I don't play Fortnite, dude, so it's an automatic no. Cyberpod Mark II uh, gave me five questions and asked me this. Have you been in a job training from before? Yeah, man, ever since, uh, ever since I started new jobs, I get basic training. Number two, what's your opinion on Transformers, head, Headmasters, and Master Force? One of the most memorable uh, shows in the 80s. Number three, what's what's your opinion on Susan, the former CEO of YouTube? Uh, even though that Susan Wojcicki did uh, um, did things that made that gave YouTube a bad name, but I'm very sad that she uh, that she passed away. So, in my opinion, I have none. Number four, do you like Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero? Um, well, I've seen the ad, but I haven't tried that game myself. Number five, what's your opinion on rooting or jailbreaking your smartphones if if it gains access to system files? Uh, unless it involves with modifications and, um, well, good modifications, uh, that would be pretty bad. And no, I haven't played, uh, I haven't, um, uh, played Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero or nothing like that. Okay, Wally Universal, uh, has given me five questions as well. Number one, uh, what's your opinion on TEG 1994's NBC logo bloopers? Well, it sure is, a uh, sure is a funny series. Number two, have you heard of Need for Speed Most Wanted? Yeah, I do. Number three, do you like Halloween? Yeah, same answer as number two. Number four, what? which one do you prefer, Texas or Florida? Well, I do live in Texas, so I'm going to go with that. Number five, what's your favorite Xbox game? Well, my favorite Xbox game is uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Well, unless you're talking about the original... Uh, then I have none much. All right, Rhonda Raven. Um, I am feeling bad for my husband, Dave Madsen. I can't believe that Jim has passed away uh, back on October 7th. 
and me and the curriculum crew crew are going to miss him so much. Yeah, I'm very sorry for uh, for y'all's loss, Rhonda. But anyway, here are my questions. Number one, have you heard of the life of Emily and Trevor? Uh, no, I haven't. Number two, uh, which one you would you prefer, Dave Matson or Curriculum? Well, I'm gonna stick with both. Number three, what's your opinion on Halloween? Yeah, I already said that to answer to Wally Warner. I I'm sorry, Wally Universal, my mistake. Number four, do you like Inside Out 2? Well, I do heard of it, but I haven't watched it. Number five, what is your favorite vehicle? Well, my favorite vehicle is the motorcycle moped. Okay, Kevin McCarrenson, five questions from you and Nice Natalie. Okay, number one, what is your favorite holiday? Well, my favorite holiday is Christmas. And also the Independence Day. Wait, is, does that also count as a fucking holiday and shit? Number two, uh, how is your day going so far? Uh, it's just as going... It's just going as uh, good as it could be, just as long as we don't get involved with any more drama. Number three, have you heard of Mega Man 11? Uh, yeah, I've heard of that a couple of times. Yeah, I... Yeah, everyone's been uh, been asking me that shit. Number four, what's your opinion on the real random Lozy? One of the best Go animators slash YouTubers I've uh, ever heard. I, I'm, I'm, I'm even proud of her for reaching up to uh, 100,000 subs. Alright, number five... Do you like my two daughters, Kelly and Katie? Uh, yes, I do. But in, by the meaning of liking them, um, I do respect them. And just as much as I respect you and Fugitive TV. Okay, nice, Natalie. Number one, which one you prefer, cats or dogs? Well, I like both, even though uh, I'm a dog person. Woof, woof. Number two, what's, uh, what's your opinion on Rebecca Zamolo? Who? I have not heard of her. Number three, which one of you, uh, which one you prefer, the Spy Ninjas or the, or the Scattered Skulls? Obviously the Spy Ninjas. Number four, do you like Chicken Express? Oh, fuck yeah, I do, Natalie. Number five, what is your favorite Power Rangers character? Uh, so many to choose from. So, uh, for one, I'm gonna, s I'm gonna t say the Yellow Ranger. Okay, GLM Entertainment gave me a question on my, uh, on my comment rather than his own. Yeah, in other words, that uh, he replied to me with that question, and he said, "What's your opinion on Dragon's Lair?" Well, GLM Entertainment. Yeah, it's one of the, one of those fucking. Yeah, one of the most popular games in the 80s, uh, where you uh, where you control the protagonist Dirk the Daring, um, attempting to rescue Princess Daphne from the evil dragon Singe, who has locked the princess in the foul wizard Mordrock's castle. Well, my fellow peeps, uh, that's all for right now. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit bummed out, but not too much uh, that we didn't get any of the Halloween uh, referenced questions uh, that much. Uh, but oh well, it's all good, it's all good. N n none of the, everything has to be perfect or some shit. Not everything goes uh, goes well as planned or nothing like that. Or whatever you say, uh, just had to keep it balanced between the yin and the yang, the good and the bad and all that shit. So if you got any more questions for me to answer, go ahead and apply for next week. Until next time, this is Mason Velez signing off, and have a happy fucking Halloween. Ha 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 